Yeah. But who, who did you fear back when? Is there anybody you feared or? I mean, you always talk about Hall. I didn't fear you're... anybody. I, I didn't fear anybody, but I was always wondering what would happen with me and Brody every night. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean, that's a, that's probably the same kind of thought process because some guys are capable of going off <laughs> on their own mission. I've been in that situation a couple of times, and either you reel it back in and make everybody comfortable, or it's a long night. Well, and obviously there were guys who I, I don't want to say afraid, but Harley was one of the toughest guys oh, ever. Yeah. Yeah. But you you and he had that understanding and that relationship, correct? Uh, with the understanding was that he, he would let me win. <laughs> Let's get serious, okay? He respected me, respected everything, because I certainly couldn't beat Harley Race. Do you know how many guys I've seen try to beat Jack Bristol? <laughs> hey, look, Mom, no hands. <laughs> Bristol would have the angel on somebody in the middle of the ring. <laughs> some now, guys, some guys, you just know you can't beat. What's the craziest stipulation match you've ever seen or been involved with? Oh God! Because oh. you've not been in many stipulation matches, if memory properly serves. Is that right? Uh, yeah. But the word stipulation match, this is simple, and it, I, to this day, I still think about it. Me and Butch Reed. One hour, Orlando, not the arena, the old uh, sports center, the Eddie Graham Sports Center, Orlando, the Tin Building, August, 100 degrees outside, 105, an hour, and we couldn't use the cage as a weapon. You couldn't use the cage as a weapon? Why not? One hour. Why not? Because Eddie thought it would be cool. To use, I don't know. Ask Eddie Graham. I can't, but, but yeah, that just, it strikes yeah. me to, I mean, I, I thought, I mean, obviously we know the stipulation with the cages. I, 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 had, I had Butch, God rest his soul, bust me in a hard way five times. Oh, my through. God. Well. I mean, I mean old cuts. Nothing, I don't mean like, not talking my eyebrow up, but I mean, I couldn't cut myself enough because I, you can't throw, I couldn't even throw a guy into a cage. Well, the, the whole point of the cage is to keep people out and keep people in in terms of the, the stipulation, but yeah, but I could try to crawl out, but you couldn't use it as a weapon. Well, the most effective thing about the cage in terms of the drama is to use it as a weapon. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the most ridiculous. I'm sure there have been others, but that's the most ridiculous stipulation I've ever been in. The best gimmick match ever was War Games. Am I right? Oh, God, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nothing competes with War Games. That's just no. incredible. We'll talk about that on a future show. I don't, I don't remember who. They're, they're and I, oh, ac actually, I'm going to go to Chicago to see the Lightning play the Blackhawks. Well, the Lightning... I, I have friends in Chicago. I know that. Oh, I know that. The Lightning aren't quite as good as their two-cup team because they lost a, a lot to free agency and the expansion draft. Well, that, you know, comes from a, that comes from a Pittsburgh guy. Come on. That comes from an expert in hockey okay. more than <laughs> anything. And they, they, they lost their whole third line. But, but I'll tell you, that kid they got in goal, Vasilevsky... Yeah. The big Russian kid, honestly, yeah. Nate, yeah. he's one of the top five goalies I've ever seen. Going Fantastic. back to Dryden, Tony Esposito. So when you have a guy like that, you're always in the hunt. Wow. Dryden, how about the guy for the Avalanche? How do you leave him out? Patrick Waugh, no, he's right there too. Canadians yeah, as well. Yeah, I've fought hockey show. too. I know you and do. By, and by, and by, the, by the way, Dryden went to Cornell. Well, see, you know it all. I do. You can't get me a hockey man. Yeah, yeah, I can. No. Nah. Who, who do you think's the best player ever? Bob Probert. Okay, case closed. Now, <laughs> now, now, Bill Goldberg. My best. favorite player. I know that he's one of mine too. What a great guy too. Boy, yeah. we lost him. We lost yeah. Bobby far too young, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. You got to watch that. You got to watch any anybody has not seen Tough Guy on Netflix. I saw it. It's great. Yeah. I I, re I read the book about him too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and when when Bobby used to come backstage on our shows, yeah. that was such a thrill for me. He was such a good yeah. guy and such yeah. a respectful kid too. Yeah, you know I I miss Bob Pro 